Hi, I'm Robin, and I'm the founder of Electrum Fitness. Originally, I started my fitness journey more than 10 years ago. My struggles were because I have scoliosis, so everything that appeals to a normal person, works for a normal person, doesn't really work for me. But because of that, I spent a lot of time figuring out the, the very nitty gritty of everything, how it works and how to do it without pain. Therefore, when I actually teach it, I'm very careful about that, about how to do something properly, how to make sure there's no pain and how to make sure there's hopefully no injury. I remember about 10 years ago, I, one day I woke up with extreme back pain and I was so much, in so much pain that I was incapacitated for about 3 to 4 weeks at which time I had a lot of therapy before I finally got off the bed. Yeah? Then I thought, what happens to me if, if I'm much older? Will I be forever in my bed, incapacitated and never be able to walk? So that began my journey to look for things that can help me stay mobile and be free from pain. So I started with things like Pilates, then I went to yoga, and then I went to handstands and calisthenics. So now I do a mixture of everything, and that has actually helped me to manage my pain. I came into Robin's class with an injured shoulder. I pulled uh, my left shoulder and the pain was so severe that I couldn't even lift up my hand, uh, even just to hold a cup of water. Um, and I was told to go for MRI, which would cost a lot. Um, so I decided not to do the MRI. Instead, I focused on uh, doing rehab exercises um, to you know, just bring the shoulder back to recovery, get some circulation going. 15 minutes before the main class, uh, we would be doing resistance band exercises, uh, like you know, external rotation, that sort of uh, exercises to just uh, bring back circulation. And um, after several months of doing the rehab, uh, the pain went away and today I can lift weights with it. I had a history of very bad back, chronic back pain and uh, whatever exercise I did, it didn't seem to help. But uh, training with Robin in the past two years, it has actually um, helped overcome the problem. And one of the other greatest benefit was I realized that uh, past 50 in age, uh, the sense of balance was actually deteriorating very fast. Mm. Yeah. And uh, I could feel it year on year when we did various, when we go on holiday, I could feel it. Mm. So coming here after two years training, I realized it's been very helpful. It helped regain back a lot of, uh, not just functional movement, but the balance in functional movement. Mm. Right. So for me, I've been exercising quite a lot, quite a bit, you know, mainly in the cardio, right? Running, cycling, and then like, like you say, uh, after a while, you, you start to get injured. You know? I, I have lower back pain for, for quite, quite a while, you know, and, and then I, I, I learned to do uh, strength training. So, so I, I pick up strength training, do weights, and uh, you know, the usual squat, push, pull, and that helped me to, to, uh, to actually correct because um, it's all about balance, right? And stability. Mm -hmm. So from there, uh, then I learned that strength and flexibility is actually very important. Right. A few months after I was uh, doing the exercises and then once I was overseas and I was caught in a fire drill in an overseas office. Uh, and surprisingly, I had to come down 23 stories uh, on stairs uh, during the fire drill. Um, but when I reached the bottom and the next day after, surprisingly, I was not aching in my thighs and my arms, even though I was carrying a really heavy uh, a trolley bag, a laptop trolley bag down. 
Yeah, in the past, when I was uh, in the local Singapore office, when I was caught in a fire drill, it was 10 stories down. And usually after that, my thighs would be aching for a few days. But this time round, after the months of exercise, I was really surprised that I was not aching at all. The strength that I've gotten uh, from doing the pistol squats and the push-ups really helped me to strengthen my muscles and my stamina. I started doing this because uh, I had frozen shoulders of all things. And uh, this was a big impairment for me because I play a lot of tennis. But at a point when I had frozen shoulder, I had a shock from the physiotherapist that it would take nine months to recover. And I only could do this. Then when I came here, I only could do this. Now I can do this and I can hang. Uh, previously, I couldn't even do a hanging on the bar. So mobility became very important for me. And this group itself, or these exercises, was very useful for me in terms of mobility which is what I was trying to achieve and of course strength. So the other thing I had was that when I saw the osteopath, she said that I had a bad posture because as a desk warrior, I spent 10 hours at my desk like this. And she said I had a weak back as well as curved shoulders. So the exercises here where Robin is also, you know, uh, looking at how has he overcome his scoliosis for me was because of back posture. Uh, this allowed me actually to strengthen my back posterior chain and allowed me to have much better mobility and movement and posture right now. And I don't have pain or aches, uh, you know, the normal tightness that actually uh, restricted my mobility. So I have uh, back problems, prolapsed this, so I have recurrent back pain. Uh, I used to uh, do exercise on my own, uh, including sit-ups. So ever since I joined Robin's class, I get to be aware of what exercise I should do and more importantly, what the exercise I should not do. For a person with a chronic back pain, I should not do sit-up uh, because I used to do it in uh, the mini uh, SAF. Uh, so that I don't have a scenario where I do exercise for two weeks and then I pain for another two weeks. Uh. So the frequency of back pain has reduced tremendously and it helps me to strengthen my back. 